So, so obviously the first race of the year, um, March 15th, so the weekend of March 15th, uh, leading up to the race on the 15th, is going to be the Australian Grand Prix. Very, it's a good Grand Prix. Uh, Albert Park, I love it. Yeah, yeah, Albert Park is a good circuit, uh, good corners, not a lot of elevation changes, but we don't need that in in in, uh, um, in Australia. Uh, the fans yeah, there are great. Fast, I love it. Yeah, it, it's it only like two really big breaking points on it. I love it. I really, I really love that track. Yeah, the environment over there is crazy. I would love to go one day to the Australian Grand Prix. Um, it's definitely my to-do list. Um, down under there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all the way in Melbourne. All the way in Melbourne. Uh, it's uh, it, from what I hear, it's it's costly to go. Like some people say that uh, the people that go you usually have to like fork out a few grand. Um, yeah, like two or three. Yeah, two or three for the whole weekend. Um, yeah, but like almost two grand just for flights from here. Yeah. <laughs> so so it would it, it it it's a bit of a ways away, and uh, obviously it, uh, when it when it happens there, we're like we're we're asleep over here, but. Well, obviously, if you went there, you'd have to stay from Malaysia and China mm. and get into the time zone. Right. Change your country. And, and that is what it is. So, so Australian Grand Prix, looking forward to that track. Also interesting about that track is that because it's the first proper Grand Prix, no testing, um, you're going you're gonna to see the cars in, in, in full fury. And that's the first time that you see the cars of each year uh, just battling it out. Um, some people have... Uh, th not like a few things that they haven't worked out, and and that's why you don't you don't get to see like the full spectrum or you can't make any predictions from Melbourne. But that's what makes it exciting because it's 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 kind of like an, uh, a race where a lot of people are gonna do like you know go big or go home, and a lot of people are, g are just waiting till they get back to Europe to get some parts in. Um, an example of that is what happened um, last year. Remember last year at the very beginning of the year, McLaren showed themselves as being pretty competitive. They even put uh, Magnussen on third place. Yeah. And then the rest of the year, they didn't do anything. I was going <laughs> to say, Melbourne doesn't stop you from making predictions. Yeah, that's true. But in the case of this year, they were almost all completely wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah.